is the best way to shoot in Valorant. If you're coming to Valorant from CSGO, you'll already be familiar with the basic recoil mechanics. You know, each gun has a set pattern. You have to follow that pattern with your reticle to keep the bullets going where you want them to. One of the many differences from CSGO is that if you aim down sights, your reticle follows your bullets exactly. So you'll be pulling down, but your goal will be to keep the reticle on target as opposed to when you're uh, hip firing. Your goal will be to keep your reticle on recoil pattern. So every gun has its own recoil pattern to an extent. So if we look at the first 10 bullets of the Vandal, it goes straight down and then to the right, which means you'll have to pull to the left a little. And the spread between the bullets gets progressively larger. Um, but after the first 10, you get into the horizontal part of the pattern. And apparently this is somewhat random. And from what I've seen, the movement distance stays the same, but the timing, uh, you know, between how long you have to stay here and pull to the right is going to be different with every shot. So, for instance, that one went pretty much instantly to the left. But this one, you know, grouped up here for a while. So yeah, if you've heard, if you've been watching streams for keys, you may have heard your favorite streamers say, oh, the shooting mechanics resemble CS 1.6. Uh, this random horizontal timing was a characteristic of that version of CSGO, and that may be what they're referring to. So what this means is that, you know, first shot accuracy is way more important because if you miss your first 10 shots, um, you're going to be at the mercy of RNG, basically. Uh, something else that increases the value of landing your first, you know, few shots is that once you're hit with a bullet, you basically can't move and you'll be stuck out here exposed to, you know, whoever is firing at you and you'll be committed to the fight. And this combined with the fact that your spray gets random, uh, you know, if you don't land your first shot, you're basically dead. Um, another consideration is that uh, because of this freeze tag mechanic combined with the random horizontal mechanic, you know, the CS Classic Suka Vyat Rush B is a lot more effective. Whoever's holding B or whichever site you're rushing, can't full spray down the entire team because once they use their first or else you're going to get pushed off a lot of sites. Uh, yeah, and this mechanic, you know, I've heard in a few streams that Riot was trying to make LMGs viable. Um, this might be their way of doing that since the vertical component of these guns is a much larger number of bullets than your Vandal or Phantom. And, you know, I've actually seen people put up walls on, uh, like, split B garage tunnels and just have an LMG spray down, people trying to rush that. In conclusion, burst firing for the first 10 bullets or so is definitely the way to go, it seems. And constantly repositioning and re-peaking, even though that is much harder than compared to CSGO. Uh, you know, I think it's intentional they did that because this makes you more reliant on abilities, on your teammates, 
makes a lot of these other guns uh, much more important and distinctive in their roles. And yeah, it makes for a more interesting game. And as always, like and subscribe if you want exclusive access to my upcoming Snapchat Premium and Patreon accounts. See you guys.